Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Electric Plan offers unlimited overnight home charging for $30 per month in Texas. Tesla shares FSD beta safety statistics, and they're impressive so far. Tesla Gigafactory Mexico will build the company's next-gen vehicle. And, Tesla teases mysterious wireless home charger on Investor Day. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Electric, a retail plan, is rolling out to select Powerwall customers in Texas. During Investor Day 2023, Tesla announced a new plan for Tesla Electric. It offers unlimited overnight home charging for $30 per month. The offer will be available to Tesla customers in Texas. Drew Baglino talked about Tesla Electric during Investor Day 2023. Baglino presented data from Tesla Electric in South Australia, which serves around 5,000 customers. His presentation revealed how Tesla Electric utilizes the company's energy technology, like auto bidder, to decrease the cost of electricity for customers in Australia. Customers using default utility services paid around $142 per month for power. The cost of utility services have to $69 per month for customers using Tesla Solar and Powerwall, not interacting with the grid. Tesla Solar and Powerwall systems that interacted with the grid and enrolled in Tesla Electric were cheaper monthly and generated some income for customers. Baglino mentioned that Tesla Electric is rolling out to customers in Texas. Unfortunately, Tesla Electric is only available to customers in Texas who receive an invitation to join the retail plan. To qualify for an invitation, customers must have a Powerwall and their home must come with Retail Electricity Choice. Retail Electricity Choice is available in homes located in the Houston and Dallas metropolitan areas. The retail plan utilizes Tesla Electric Mode, which monitors electricity prices in the area surrounding customers' homes. Tesla Electric works similar to buyback plans, which allow customers to sell their excess solar energy. However, unlike other buyback plans, Tesla Electric enables Powerwall customers to sell their excess energy when there is higher demand and it is more valuable. Tesla Electric customers have complete control of their Powerwall backup reserve. Tesla recommends setting their backup reserve to 20%. The more energy customers make available for Tesla Electric Mode to sell, the more sellback credits they get. Customers can roll over their sellback credits indefinitely or redeem them for cash with Tesla Electric. Moving to the next update, Tesla shares FSD beta safety statistics, and they're impressive so far. Tesla regularly releases vehicle safety reports, featuring the safety statistics of its autopilot system, compared to the US average. Despite this, Tesla skeptics have mostly scoffed at the company's figures, with many arguing that the number is not that accurate, since autopilot and its most advanced features, like navigate on autopilot and automatic lane changes, are mostly used on highways. Tesla skeptics have argued that inner city streets are a completely different animal since it involves a lot more uncertainties compared to highways. During the recently held Investor Day event, however, Tesla shared FSD beta's safety statistics over the past 12 months. And so far, they are quite impressive. As per the company, a Tesla with FSD beta engaged experienced an airbag deployed crash about every 3.2 million miles in the last 12 months. This makes the system about five times safer than the most recently available US average of 600,000 miles per police reported crash. It should be noted that FSD beta specifically works for inner city streets, which involve tons of edge cases and unpredictable driving behaviors from other vehicles. In as much as FSD beta is about five times safer than the most recently available US average, the system's safety stats are not as impressive as Autopilot's recent results. As per Tesla's vehicle safety report for Q3 2022, the company reported one crash for every 6.26 million miles driven, in which drivers were using Autopilot. Tesla's operating with FSD beta seemed to be safer than cars not using Autopilot, however, as such vehicles recorded one crash for every 1.71 million miles driven. 
While FSD will likely remain one of Tesla's most controversial innovations, its adoption is increasing at a steady pace. As per updates from the electric vehicle maker during Investor Day, FSD and Autopilot are still critical components of Tesla's overall plan, as the systems would increase the utilization rate of the company's vehicles. Tesla also noted that FSD beta had been released to almost all customers in the US and Canada who purchased FSD, which translates to about 400,000 owners. Moving to the next update, Tesla Gigafactory Mexico will build the company's next-gen vehicle. Tesla Gigafactory Mexico will build the company's next-generation vehicle. During Investor Day 2023, Elon Musk confirmed Gigafactory Mexico's location and Tesla's plans for the new production facility. Just a day before Investor Day 2023, Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador announced Tesla's new Gigafactory location in Monterrey. Elon Musk confirmed Obrador's news during Investor Day. The Tesla CEO elaborated that Gigafactory Mexico will focus on building the company's next-gen vehicle. Tesla adopted a similar strategy for Giga Texas, also known as the company's Cybertruck factory. While Giga Mexico may focus on Tesla's next-gen vehicle, it may also build other cars. Giga Texas, for example, also produces Tesla Model Y vehicles. During Investor Day 2023, Lars Moravi noted that Tesla's next-generation platform is not one vehicle and will be used across different segments. Given Tesla's history, the company may release vehicles using the next-gen platform one by one over time, much like the original Roadster, S3XY lineup, the Semi, and soon the Cybertruck. With that in mind, Tesla may have already teased the segment of the first new vehicle using its next-gen platform. There is only one car that Tesla has already unveiled and that has not reached production, the new Roadster. However, in an interview, Tesla's design chief Franz von Holzhausen stated that the new Roadster is not a priority for the company right now. So, the new Roadster might not be the next-gen vehicle Gigafactory Mexico will be building. Currently, Tesla is keeping its mouth tightly zipped regarding the segment and moniker of its next-gen vehicle. But Tesla executives did share some details about the next-gen car during Investor Day 2023. Tesla's next-gen vehicle will obviously use its next-gen platform. Colin Campbell, Tesla's VP of Powertrain Engineering noted that the company's new powertrain will be compatible with any battery chemistry. He also stated that Tesla's next drivetrain does not use any rare metals. Moving forward, Tesla will also switch from 12-volt to 48 low-voltage systems. Moving to the last update, Tesla teases mysterious wireless home charger on Investor Day. It was just a quick image displayed on screen while Tesla head of global charging infrastructure, Rebecca Tanucci, was discussing the company's work with its supercharger network, but it was enough to catch the attention of numerous EV watchers online. If the image was any indication, it appears that Tesla is working on a wireless home charging solution. The Tesla executive segment during Investor Day highlighted that the electric vehicle maker had been working on expanding its rapid charging infrastructure for about 10 years now. Tanucci specifically mentioned a number of innovations that have improved Tesla's supercharger rollout, such as the implementation of prefabricated superchargers. At the latter end of her presentation, the Tesla executive noted that amidst all its hard work and intense efforts to improve, the company doesn't forget to do cool stuffs. The slide featured a themed Tesla supercharger, modeled after a drive-in Hollywood diner, which has long been mentioned by Elon Musk. Beside the drive-in diner's photo was something that had not been shared before. The photo showed the rear end of a red Tesla Model S, parked in a home garage. A rather large Tesla home charger could be seen on a wall, but it did not seem to be plugged into the all-electric flagship sedan directly at all. Instead, the Model S was parked over what looked like a wireless charging pad. This promptly fueled speculations that Tesla may be looking to roll out a wireless charging system, at least for residential customers, in the future. A wireless charging system for Teslas would be nothing short of a game-changer. The company's supercharger network already changed the game thanks to its ease of use and convenience. 
But even manually plugging in a Tesla to a charger is less convenient than just parking over a charging pad. Of course, there are some notable disadvantages to wireless charging, such as slower charging speeds. But if Tesla can figure out a way to roll out a wireless charging system with at least a decent charging rate, the company's vehicles would likely become even more attractive to consumers. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.